We have returned to Heritage Village in Miamisburg again. It's September the 1st, Sunday. It is open first Sunday of the month, May through October. So we have today and we have next October. But our main thing is let's check with Lee and see how, uh, see how the weaving's going, how warping the loom, see where he's at. And also, I believe they have basket weaver again, again today. We'll check it out. I think last time we was wondering how many stars on this flag. Let's see. Uh, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen star flag. Quick reminder, have a smokehouse, have the uh, Kircher building, which is the oldest building. And we have the Daniel Gebhardt Museum, 1811. We have the well and the cistern out here. And let's go check out the Ohio Historical Marker. Take a screenshot and read. And here's the other side. There we go. All right. They've turned this into a one room schoolhouse where second grade, third grade, fourth grade, not sure, maybe fourth grade that they, uh, from the local schools here to come on in, let the kids get an experience of what was happening back then. Oh, well, looky there, they put some new shutters on the outside. I know they have did some new caulking. You can check that out along the building there. You can see there in the wild is our man Lee making some of the things for the loom. I know it keeps the thread straight from binding up. I remember. See, I remember, huh? Okay. This is a ruler. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> I was trying to be fair before you had to cut some of the... Uh... Leaf sticks? Yes, that's it. Is this not what you would do for them as well? It is. Okay. Yeah. So, say, I am a rank amateur. Uh, amateur means I have some experience. I'm a rank uh, next to <laughs> under amateur. Whatever that is. Oh, he's got out the uh, soul horse today for the uh, the wood. What's yep, he call that? Fact, I think my little girl is about to start working on it. Okay, we'll check out. What's it? What do they call that one again? As a draw knife. Bag. Draw knife. I, okay. Yep. I did look up and stuff. I remember them telling me, but I couldn't quite remember. And I looked that up. It's quite a bit. I know his daughter made that one year. Uh, Kim's daughter made. That. Yeah, yeah. His daughter made. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And like I told people when I was here, I said, you're really the main reason I come down here. <laughs> Although the basket lady's here today too, I believe. She is. But you are the primary interested to see what's happening. Well, but if you're... Okay. Oh. Well, we started weaving. Howdy. Helly, how you doing? Good. Yeah. The... So we've got the first dozen okay. or so lines. Um, and what I needed was a ruler because this is the width of there, which will be how wide I make things that way. Yep. Um, and then it's also the width of here, so that will be how far I make each section of white. Have you decided on the sizes? I know they will be for sale. Uh, Eventually. I'm known on the sizes. We'll okay. Probably try to make them six to eight feet and see how many we have. See how many we got. Yep, yep. And either for sale directly or auction. One of the two. Unknown. Keep a keep an eye out for the historical society. Listen, listen. Patience here. This ain't your overseas. Slop everything together. He is 
taken everything with yeah, that. But I suspect we'll do some historic society events and do them as um, raffles. Or oh, okay. So, yeah. yeah. And so down here, as you can tell, look, it's all been wrapped up finally. He has worked very hard at that. And, and the leaf sticks hold it so that they... Uh, it ain't rabbling off the side and yeah. ain't too much in the middle. I, yeah. See? I paid attention. Yeah. Oh, better than that, I actually remembered. Nice. <laughs> I did pay attention yeah. anyways about the fact of recall. And then, and then these sticks help keep the very beginning of the weave from just shifting around. Oh, okay. No. well, these are yard sticks you just were cutting, so different? Yeah. So Pretty these are a little the different same. than them, but not really. Pretty much the same. Okay. But now that's their purpose. Yep. And then I just made my ruler, which covers that size, and this and how wide I'll make the brown when I start that. Okay. So so it's the actual weaving now, right? Yep. Is that... We're going to see a little bit of that a little bit later? Or? Yeah, give me a little bit to yeah, yeah, get yeah. the next color going, and we'll, okay. we'll have some Look fun. forward to that. All right. Well, thank you. Thanks. There we go. Let's see. Can you tell us your name and what you're doing? And okay, I'm Susan Marine. I'm a basket weaver. Been doing this since 2009. Today I'm making something new that I haven't tried before. Ooh. This is a solid base for a basket that the Shakers made. It was a technique that's not used by very many people where this one is going around and around and filling in the empty spaces between the big fat ones. Okay. So this is kind of neat. Um, yeah, you got over some more. here I've got, I brought some of my entries from the Kentucky State Fair. Several ribbons as you all can <laughs> see. To show off basically. Yeah, yeah. this is bragging. But um, this one is a double walled basket. If you notice the outside is very different from the inside. It's actually a basket inside a basket and they join at this point. Okay, nice. Okay. nice. Uh, this basket. First place. So first Pay place attention people. In the round weight basket. Uh, category. All of this is made out of reed that is round, which is different than than the flat reed of flat normal. Reed. And this is a traditional Appalachian rib basket. It took third place, and this is made with flat reed. Okay. You see the difference? Uh, let's go this one next. The second this place is a, made out of leather. It's blue suede and black laces. Oh. You can't feel that, but I did. It's cool. <laughs> okay, nice, very nice. And this is made out of honeysuckle. So when you are ripping out all that honeysuckle, save it, weave with it. <laughs> you can actually use it rather than just swearing at it. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, nice, very nice. Now, see, she has some Halloween over here. Nice little candy dish, probably. Mm -hmm. And then. This one bigger and it has a, it's a traditional market basket. I remember that from last time. It was very nice, and then a big giant one here. Mm -hmm. That is basically a picnic basket. I'd imagine it's big enough for anything you want. Yep. Anything They're sturdy too. I imagine hold good sturdy. books and all that. So. Okay. And where can they check you out? Are you online, or you just sit, go to no. events sometimes? Next weekend, Saturday, I'm at the Franklin Farmer's Market, and then at the end of September, I will be at the Apple Festival in Lebanon. Okay, there you go, Apple Festival. <laughs> You'll probably see it by, this will be up by then. Last row. <laughs> there you go. Go check out her work. Thank you very much. <laughs> and here is the business card to check out Susan. Take a picture. It'll last longer, and you can look her up. <laughs> and just the throwback she threw on the official hat just to catch you at the very end ta-da it was magic it was not there and now it is there she's back to her wonderful weaving thank you again yeah there we go so lee's getting ready to do something it's not the actual weaving again but he's doing some more so prep work what i just did is I cut the previous color. And so I'm gonna have that just hanging out here. But when I add a new color, 
I'm going to take the new color and send it through to the end. Look at that. What's that called again? That device you just threw and it rolled a shuttle. Okay. And it shuttled right across pretty quick, didn't it? Shuttles the yarn across. So now what I have is starting right about here. That's where the color change is. So the new thread starts and the old thread ends, so that makes a nice strong join on the colors. Okay. So when we're done with the whole fabric, we'll come across and just snip all of these right up next to the fabric. Okay, and that was what I'm seeing with the white. That was a change of color. That's the end of the white, and this is the beginning of the brown. Okay. And now I, I push down two of the petals, which yep. will lift up every other strand. And I pass this through. Well, so that should have looked real easy. That looks like what would happen with one of us trying to shuttle across. See, it's not. The problem is that this shuttle is actually a different size than the other. Oh, okay. So I'm going to pass that back through and switch out the shuttles. That should bring it all the way back up. Perfect. Oh, for this smaller one, maybe? Yeah. Okay. So it looks smaller in width and smaller in depth, maybe? And now they're back. I'll pull out the brown that I've gotten started. There's a woman. We've just had to run to the red barn. Is that a different size? That's a macro. Same size. More troubleshooting. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, it's one of them things, which glass is fuller, and you know, you got the small fat one and the tall one. It's like, no, nope, they're the same. They just. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. Because it did. It looked much smaller to me than when I looked. Yeah. And I, I think the biggest problem is that at the moment, okay, it wasn't pushed all the way back. See, I spotted that. So I'm like, because it ran through so easily, the other one. Okay. See, even a small problem can creep up. And I'll tell you what happened. What happened was us asking him, and he, you know, we, we broke up the you natural rhythm. Me. Oh, trust me, I know. <laughs> I understand. So, but that's what it was. As soon as you did it, it went back, I'm like, ah, that's what it was. Because he did just shoot it through, and it went just fine. But it wasn't back all the way. There, Yes. This is the beater bar, so it beats back the floor. Yeah. I flip this up and I send it back. There we go. And that. So, with my naiveness, I thought, oh, he'll be done by the end of next month. As we learned, it is a much long, it's a little tedious. <laughs> the entire season has been hard work from the start, from the threading it together to making the string to coloring right to coloring the different string i'm well, calling it string the, the oh you didn't no. okay but you still oh the wool was already there right you just had to uh do some of the what she's doing the very first time with your fingers turning it into yarn oh well i also do that um, oh, we bought this yarn. Oh, okay. So that was a different demonstration. I do remember, I'm like, uh, he must have worked hard to get all that yarn. Yeah. Okay, that makes a little more sense. No, we didn't sense. make all that yarn. Okay, that but fun. I did see. I remember you showing us that, right? Yep. That was Absolutely. on. That was the first time. You go back and check. Leah's well, been a great demonstrator. See, it gets a little rhythm going. And there you go. And then my tape measure just dropped so <laughs> find a better place to put that so basically i bet by by uh even next month when we come back you'll probably it'll be the same thing just more has been done well we'll be doing this for a long time <laughs> because it's only three to five hours once a month yeah. this could take a couple of years okay but we will see be patient people <laughs> yeah, but he, well,
go ahead and donate in advance. I, Why I not? Was, I was just told that I do have a key, so I can't use that as an excuse. Listen, Bye. listen. Life gets and stuff, and you know, <laughs> this ain't the only loom in town. That's all. That's it's always saying. <laughs> you know. So. Okay. He's, yep. Looming. Yeah, very looming. So. It's, 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 the it's a good thing. Well, I, my first shocker when I come in was I actually had that door open. That door's never hey, opened. Even, even back in the 90s when I was down here hosting, never yeah. opened the door. But then again, the, uh, oh, they removed the last bit of that, didn't they? They put it in a. The plaster? Yeah, they removed that and put it in a frame. Okay. As I turn around, notice that he switched back to white because it got the full width of what she's doing. Yeah. So I'm all right. Okay. And here, I got caught on this bar a couple of times back. Oh, so now, do you now, have to undo them? I don't know. It depends on what I feel like doing with it. Or is it something you could just tie off and you'll have to see, huh? Right. <laughs> um, hmm. So something as simple, and it wasn't like he created. It was that little bar there that's got everything tied off to, well, yeah. keep it together, or else that wouldn't be happening. All right, more stuff to figure out. As you can see, Lee found a solution for the hanging thread. He ran it back through. He's doing some magic, going to do some weaving or another line underneath, and voila. That's the magic word for it'll be fixed. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. And any little small carrot thing in there is just character to the individual piece. Not that every single strand is absolutely perfect. You know, that's a machine's work. So I'll hold that there until we're done, and then I'll fix it. Till time, yeah. <laughs> but there, it's not down there, so otherwise it'd keep get might <coughs> probably keep getting connected on that one little bar that's going back and forth. Yeah. Okay, voila, easy. And then that'll straighten everything out, and we're good. And back to there. Up. Oh, all right. A little bit. So we're having a demonstration of the. Let me get on the other side. Oh, oh, hang. Hey. <laughs> there, there we go. And a draw hey, knife bench is right. that? Okay. Draw. Well, there you go. She's making a nice vampire steak. Probably not. That's what I'm going with. <laughs> I specialize in tent steaks. Oh, now the professional back here, he makes tent steaks. This particular one looks like it might take the vampire things, which apparently we have a problem with here in Dayton. Apparently we're number two in the U.S. There you go. With vampire dens. I'm like, okay. Interesting. Okay. There we go. So the harder you pull, the harder you tend to push. So it's kind of self-locking. Yes. And keep it flat. There you go. And he has the... Oh, okay. He has the small knife today. Not the, the huge one that you had the other time. That was something. Yeah, I got about a two-foot one. Yes. Yeah. It's a fun tool. Well, it's got good. Yeah. It's got good use since your daughter made it. How long ago was that that she made it? Eleven years ago. Eleven years. I mean, and as we get older, eleven years, like, oh, it don't seem that long. Yeah. <laughs> Checking on the progress. He's doing great, of course. 
For a lot of people, especially young, especially even my age, the patience to do this and the amount of time and energy is untenable. Uh, that means it's bad to the young kids. <laughs> Working on this is better than being naked, so... <laughs> I think he's talking about this is a better industry than another one for himself personally. <laughs> no, I'm saying you would have had to do this in order to have Oh, okay. You right. see, this is what happens yeah. when the mind is not totally straight. He's like, nope, you need it if you want clothes to wear. And this is why he taught us as well that they would reuse the clothes and would bunch it up they would bunch they'd bunch up the clothes for the new fashions and stuff they wouldn't go cutting it because that's crazy they would just take them and they'd bunch it up in different areas try to be like the french that's a problem and i'm sorry french that's show off my fancy device yes yes it's measuring my ruler to what know when to switch colors yep So, and it's time, huh? Yeah, it's already ran this stuff. Time to go to, well, white, I guess, right? Just looking at it? Yeah. Oh, it, it is only white and brown right now. Is that correct? That is. Did I make you goof up already? By no, because I've got the two brown on this end. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, next time I will switch to green. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So now this is no longer warping the loom. This is just, uh, this, is this is weaving. We are weaving on the loom. Is that it? Would that be correct? Weaving yeah. on the loom. Any other fancy little, you know, no, behind the scenes look? Okay. I don't know if y'all had any fancy talk for a different name. Weaving the loom. Weaving the loom is in the house and will remain in the house. We will check on progress back in 2026, and we'll see what's happening. <laughs> no, we'll check on progress before then, because I imagine you're going to be down for, uh, you know, next year yeah. and stuff. So, all right. We're closing down for now. We will be back next month just to see how much is done. Um, Susan, look at the amount of work that she has done since we started. We're about ready to leave here. Just been here a couple hours, and she's been talking most of the time, and she started working, and look at the amount of work there. In, yep, and I'll yeah. continue the sides right up to that one. Okay, we'll see them another time, hopefully.